Hungary's rhetoric that contradicts with the values of the European Union does not only concern support for Ukraine. The conflict between Budapest and Brussels over migration policy has taken a new turn. The Hungarian leadership is in favor of toughening it and also demands compensation in the amount of 1.6 billion euros allegedly for the maintenance of the border since 2015. Budapest claims that during this time the country has not allowed about 1 million illegal migrants into the EU, which allegedly did not receive proper attention from the Union. Now the country's leadership is threatening to give migrants a one-way ticket. In the European Union, Brussels wants to force Hungary to let in the illegal migrants we have detained so far. Then Hungary, following the European procedure, will offer to transport these illegal migrants voluntarily and free of charge one way to Brussels. Ben Saratvari, member of the National Assembly of Hungary, at a press conference. Budapest explains such threats by the fact that Brussels obligated Hungary to pay 200 million euros for failure to comply with EU procedures on international protection and return of third country nationals. Brussels said that Budapest's rhetoric undermines EU principles. This statement is a provocation contrary to European commitments. Migration policy is a common challenge that must be tackled in an orderly and solidarity manner by all member states. Adjal Abib, Belgian Minister of Foreign Affairs in Social Media X. Experts believe that the demand for money to compensate for border maintenance is just another attempt by the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban to get funding from the European Union. It's a traditional this is already a traditional story for him, whether it is the question of providing financial and military aid to Ukraine, where Hungary is always like a bone in its throat, denying the common positions of other more than 20 countries, or whether in matters of foreign policy of the European community there is no unity here either. So when there are Orban's personal needs, then in order to satisfy his corrupt wishes, he is able to generate chaos and enmity within the institution itself. Earlier, Belgian Secretary of State for Asylum and Migration, Nicole de Moore, criticizing such a harsh statement by Hungary, said that she had asked the European Commission to react strongly and harshly to Budapest's rhetoric. According to analysts, the EU may move from financial sanctions to political ones. This is the feeling that if there is no appropriate reaction, this trend may continue. There has already been an initiative to suspend Hungary's right to vote in any matters in the European Union. There is a practice of setting up checkpoints at the borders, and who knows, maybe the question of Schengen zone will also be raised. In addition, analysts point to Viktor Orban's duplicacy on migration issues while demanding the tightening of rules. Budapest itself encourages foreigners to come to its territory. Since July 9, 2024, the country has been issuing national cards to citizens of Russia and Belarus. Budapest explained this by the alleged desire to attract labor force to one of its nuclear power plants. Such a document allows migrants from both countries to travel 90 days in the Schengen zone, head of the European People's Party in the European Parliament. Manfred Weber said that it creates loopholes for the Russian and Belarusian intelligence services. He called to consider this issue at the next EU summit in October. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Andriy Dmitrenko, UATV News.